In part one, I went through the majority of the theory of operation of the Atari 5200 RF switch. Before I discuss the issue that I had with the RF switch and how I fixed it, a little more explanation is still required regarding the theory of operation. Shown in the red outline is the schematic portion for the RF switch. The purpose of the RF switch is to pass power from the external power supply to the Atari 5200 console while simultaneously passing the RF modulated signal from the Atari 5200 console to the antenna input on the TV. This is accomplished through the mating of the male and female RCA connectors. Since the DC power and RF channel modulation is passed over the same wires through the RCA connectors, separation of these signals are necessary before arriving to their intended circuit inputs. Separation of these signals from each other is accomplished via this 0.001 microfarad capacitor and this 2.9 microhenry inductor. The RF modulator that produces the RF channel modulation for channel 2 or 3 passes its signal as shown by the blue trace. The capacitors on the RF switch and Atari console, shown by the green arrows, allow passage of the signal while the inductors circled in red on the RF switch and Atari console schematic block the passage of the RF modulated signal. The power supply that produces the DC power passes it as shown by the green trace. The inductors on the RF switch and Atari console allow passage of the DC current why the capacitor circle in red on the RF switch and Atari console schematic block the passage of the DC current. Now that we covered the theory of operation for the RF switch, it's time to discuss the issue I was having with the switch and what I did to fix it. When I connected the Atari 5200 to the TV via the RF switch and powered it up, I did not get any video even though the power LED on the 5200 console was lit. I ended up tracing the issue to a bad LM393 computer shown circled in red. If you remember from the last video, this computer controlled the relay responsible for switching between the antenna and the console. Since the relay was not switching, the RF switch remained in antenna mode which prevented the console from outputting video to the TV. By replacing the computer, I restored proper functionality to the RF switch. Happy Atari today.